Okay, so uh, this demo is about how you can use layers in the steam machine. So this is more complicated, but yeah. Um, here in this example, um, you can see the character is working. And when I click on the character, I can change the skin. So uh, to make this, the first thing uh, I did was uh, think in the different actions I need, I have in this animation. One action is the uh, character walking. This is one action. And other action is change the skin. So these two actions are independent. And what we want is uh, mix together. So while the character is walking, I want to change the skin. So for that, I create a different animation I need. For example, the walk animation. Uh, you can see here is the character walking. And you can see that uh, I have all the uh, skin uh, activate. So if I hit here the skin, you can see uh, the character. But for now, uh, doesn't matter. I leave all this uh, uh, skin because this animation is only for the walking animation. Then uh, I have uh, uh, one animation for each skin. For example, the skin zero, the skin one, the skin two, the skin three, and the skin four. And in this animation, you can see that I only use one key for each skin. And this is because I using the opacity to activate the different skin. For example, the skin four, I have for the skin four, 100% in opacity. And for the rest, I have a 0%. So this way I activate the different skin in this different animation. Back to the steam machine. Here, um, because I have these two actions, the walking and change the skin, uh, and what we want is mix together, is the best situation to use layers. So in the steam machine, you can see that my first layer is the walk. And here I have the walk animation connect to entry. So this way, when I, I play the steam machine, the animation starts with the character walking. In the second layer, is where I have all the uh, skin animations. The skin zero, the skin one, skin two, three, and four. And uh, I have connect uh, the skin zero to entry. So this way, when I start the state machine, I start with the skin, skin zero. To make this work, uh, I use an input. In this case, it's a trigger. Um, I set up all the transitions using the same, this input here as a condition. So this way, when I click on the character, I can change the different skins. I also add other layer for the bouncing because I was thinking, okay, when I click uh, on the character and change the skin, I want to that the character make a little bouncing. So for that, I create a another animation with a simple bouncing. But uh, because I don't want to affect to the walking animation, I use the main group in this case. So this way, these keys, this animation don't affect to the walking animation. So when the character is walking, I can uh, activate this bouncing. So here in this layer, when the character is uh, walking, I can click and you can see how the Bone thing is activated. And the uh, skin animation and bone thing is activated at the same time because I use the same inputs for this transition. And this way, you can uh, uh, use layers in the state machine to create a more complex animation. Yeah. This is a this is a great example, uh, JC. I'm I'm curious though why you didn't use um, numbers to switch out the skins. Yeah, my idea my idea here was uh, simply create a, a system that when I click change uh, the skin doesn't matter what the skin is only what you want is click and change click and change. But uh, using a number input, let me uh, choose what skin I want. So let me show you how you can do that. Okay, I'm going to duplicate 
this at board to use the same animation and the same this the machine. Okay, something like this. Okay, I'm going to move the steam machine here. And now the first thing I'm going to do is add this uh, input that is a number. I'm going to rename num steam. Okay, so when I hit play, the character is working. And my idea is use this number, this input uh, for the scheme. So, because what they want is uh, choose what the skin I want, uh, the best is use any state. Oops, any state. So I'm going to remove all these transitions. Okay, move these states here. Oops. Okay, and connect with the any state. Here, here, here. Okay, and now use a condition for each transition. For example, uh, to uh, use the skin zero, what I need as a condition is the new input, that is the number inputs, and need to be equal to zero because it's the value to change to the skin zero. For the skin one, the condition I need is the same input, but the value can be one. So this way, when this value is equal to one, I change to the skin one. And the same with the rest. For the skin two, select the input and the value need to be two. For the skin three, select the input and the value is the number three, and for the last one, select the inputs and change to value equal to four. So this way, when I hit play, I can change this value. One, two, three, and four. And I can tell it uh, the skin I want. For example, if I want the Elvis, for example, I think it's the number two. If I want the superhero, it's number three. And that way I can change the skin I want. Other thing I'm going to do is <clears throat> to um, uh, is create uh, some buttons to uh, 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 this way I can select the skin using this button in the stage. So a very, very simple. I'm going to create a button, something like this. This is very, very simple. Okay. One, two, three, and four. Okay. Something like this. Move here. Okay. So now to use this button uh, to change the skin, I'm going to use the listeners and use uh, this button uh, as because it's very simple as a hitbox like Michael did in his demo. So I'm going to rename this to make it more easy. Skin zero. Skin one. Skin two. Skin three. And skin four. Okay. So I'm going to select the first and I'm going to add a listener for the skin zero. And here in the properties, I'm going to use pointer down. That means when I click on this button, change the skin. I'm going to set with the input we use, that is the number input. And the value needs to be zero because it's the skin zero. Uh, the same with the rest. For the second, I'm going to add the listeners change to pointer down, select the input, and the value need to be one. Next, select the listeners, pointer down, oops, select the input, and the value is two. Next, pointer down, input, this is three, and the last one, oops. Here at the listeners, 
when you're down and the value is four. Now, when I hit play, I can select the different skin I want using this button. Only I need is create this button with the uh, different uh, option I want. No? And the only thing I need is add the bouncing animation um, because I have this uh, bone thing that is working with the this uh, input the skin. One way I can add all uh, this bone thing to this button is adding the input to this listener. So in the listener for the skin zero, I can add a new input here and select the skin. So when I hit play, for example, if I click here, you can see that the bone thing is working now. So I'm going to do the same with the rest. The skin one, I'm going to add other input, the skin. Here two. And for the three. And for the last one. And now I can select the different skin and the one thing is working. So this way you can use the number input here, uh, the listener, this is a simple way to use and use the different layers to create more complex file. Yeah.